Good morning, all. We are going to perform a fascinating experiment. Now, I breadboarded a 74LS00, four two input NAND gates inside that package. It's a quad two input NAND gate IC. I got my drawings of the circuit right here. We'll look at that in just a little bit. But what we are going to do, and this is the fascinating part, we are going to run this quad to input NAND gate power supplied below ground. I will have ground connected to VCC and negative 5 volts connected to ground. <laughs> now we're going to get our negative 5 volts from this power supply up here. Let's set that up real quick. Black lead on ground, red lead on the negative output of the power supply. Can you all see that voltage right there? Looks pretty good. There's negative 2, negative 2.5, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5.5. 5.16 5.16 there's our negative 5 volts we're going to leave it right there let's power that power supply down okay connecting ground to pin 14 VCC of the IC connecting negative 5 volts to pin 7 ground of the IC. Okay, we're powered up. No smoke. That must be good. Setting our inputs to 0, 0. Let's go over to paperwork real quick. Then we'll come back and we'll perform the experiment. Here's our circuit schematic on paper. Let's look at the power supply requirements for the 74LS00. Pin 14, VCC of that IC is tied to ground. Pin 7, ground, is tied to negative 5 volts DC. Back here on the two inputs, we have two 1 kilo ohm resistors pulled up to ground. <laughs> that sounds odd, doesn't it? Everything looks wrong. But ground is at negative 5 volts DC. So we are, in actuality, pulling up to ground from negative 5 volts DC. Now the output is going to our digital multimeter. The red lead is going to pin 3 and the black lead is going to negative 5 volts DC. So when we look at our meter it's going to, it's going to be strange because our meter is going to say we swing from 0 volts to plus 5 volts. Just as if this was 5 volts on VCC and ground on ground, pin 7. It, it seems counterintuitive, but it works. <laughs> okay, so the truth table. We have inputs A and B, pins 1 and 2. The output here for an AND gate is this column. For a NAND gate, it's C bar. So we have A, B, C, and C bar. We're going to start out at 0, 0, and our output is going to be high. Then we're going to go 0, 1, our output is still going to be high. 1, 0 on the inputs, and the output is going to be high. But when both inputs are high, 
one one the output will be low let's go perform the experiment and see what we get all right let's apply negative 5 volts to our circuit get my hat off so I don't get in the way of the camera right now pins 1 and 2 the inputs to the NAND gate are set to 0 0 and we have an output of 4.557 volts DC that's a logic high now we'll go 0 1 and we're still logic high we'll go one zero still logic high now both inputs are going to go high we'll have one one on the inputs and we just went logic low 128 millivolts let's set one of the inputs low again we go back to logic high on a NAND gate the only time you have a logic low is when both inputs are high if any input is low we have a logic high on the output now isn't that amazing we are below ground and the circuit still works You've got to kind of turn your head around when you're working below ground. All right, all. Wasn't that fascinating? <laughs> oh, I love doing stuff like that. That is fascinating. Well, let's head to the hooch. It's Father's Day today. Happy Father's Day, y'all. Happy Father's Day. <laughs>